Uh, if you go to the Aerolab uh, home site, this is aerolab.usu.edu. Um, and uh, there you go, aerolab.usu.edu. It'll bring up this web page here, and then you go to Tools under Aerodynamics. These are aerodynamic tools. And uh, we're actually going to scroll to the bottom here. There's Mockup 4 and Mockup 5. Both of these have web based graphical user interfaces. Uh, I'll click into those in just a second. Uh, Mockup 4 is non dimensional, uh, has a Fortran back end, so it's very fast, and does not include propeller aerodynamics. Uh, Mockup 5 is dimensional, so that means you're putting in uh, uh, like links in, in terms of feet. For example, um, it has a Python backend, uh, so it's a little bit slower, and it includes propeller aerodynamics. Uh, the non-dimensional form here, uh, when you put in uh, links, you're just putting in links relative to other links. And so you can be working in terms of feet or inches or meters or whatever units you want, um, as long as you're consistent. So, uh, so anyway, there are some benefits to working in the non-dimensional world, but uh, in the dimensional world, uh, in Mockup 5, uh, this also includes propeller aerodynamics. So whichever version you want to look at, though, uh, you just click on the image here, and it will take you to, uh, for example, arrow.go.usu.edu slash mu4. That's Mockup 4. It will take you to this uh, uh, three-dimensional interface here. And then Mockup 5 is just actually slash mu5. And you can get there by typing that in. Uh, the, the interface looks almost identical, but uh, you can see that when you put in things over here in Mockup 5, it's going to ask you that in certain units. Um, and you can actually choose if you're in English or SI here, uh, where in Mockup 4 it's unitless. So again, Mockup 5, you can get there, slash MU5, or by clicking on this image here. Now, if you'd like to download a version of Mockup, both, both of the Mockup 4 and Mockup 5, uh, both have these web-based interfaces, and you may get to a point where working with this interface feels slow to you because maybe you want to rapidly iterate on a design or look at a, results for a bunch of different designs or a bunch of different operating conditions. And so if that's the case, then you probably want to switch to Mockup X. Mockup X is a really powerful uh, version of Mockup that is written in Python. Uh, and uh, it doesn't have a graphical user interface. So you're just working in terms of, uh, of input files. So you'll write input files that will then get read into the system and then it will spit out results. But that's really nice if you want to hook this up to like an optimization routine or something that's going to iterate on a design or operating conditions or something really rapidly. Uh, so anyway, I suggest that you start, if, if this is your first time, uh, doing things in, in the world of aerodynamics, I'd highly recommend starting here with Mockup 4 or Mockup 5 so that you get a sense of uh, what different parameters mean, how they affect the aircraft, and, uh, and anyway, you'll just have a better user experience here with these codes. But then, uh, you know, further down the road, once you feel comfortable with this, you might want to switch over to Mockup X and download that. That's available on GitHub. So you just click on this. Uh, this will take you to the GitHub page, the USU Aero GitHub page slash mockupx, and so you can download uh, this code and install it in Python and, and run it. It's much more powerful, and it can do many things, actually, that the, uh, that the uh, other versions of mockup cannot do. Um, uh, however, it does not include propeller aerodynamics uh, right now, so, um, so that is one limitation of mockupx, but otherwise, it's much more powerful than uh, than either of these two versions of mockup, which have certain limitations. But again, if you're just starting out, you won't really notice those limitations until you get to more complex designs and things.